What's going on everyone? The final Beyblade Burst product is in my hands and it is Barricade Lucifer. Look at this baby, it looks awesome. The barrier gimmick is back. It wasn't really that great before. I know some people will say, well, it was supposed to be good against left spins, but you know, if you were just watching an anime like me and you saw Lane deflecting all these Beyblades away and then you saw it in real life, you're like, this thing is so garbage. Why did the lie to be anime? I mean, you always lie with the powers and stuff, but that was a... That was a pretty deep cut of a lie that it was actually decent against multiple type of Beyblades. And yeah, this guy looks freaking awesome. Look at the coloring on everything. I love the way this guy looks. I can't wait to use this in battle. Um, yeah, so you got Barricade over here. If you were to look under it, uh, I don't think my lighting is going to do any justice. But it does say thank you. So you do get this Beyblade. Feel free, you know read it for yourself i don't think my camera is doing it justice because the light in my room is going crazy but it really does say thank you there so that's cool you know thanking us for you know all the years of collecting beyblade uh see here we got our mobius bearing mobius oh that feels nice that's pretty cool illegal this you could have got with um, Achilles, which is not a really hard disc to get because I don't think the Achilles set is too expensive. I don't remember. I don't think it's too expensive. I mean, it's not like the, the Fusion series or the VS series, you know, products. But yeah, let's go throw this boy into battle, uh, against, I'm thinking against the brothers. But before that, you know, we gotta should do a test spin first. We gotta see how this baby looks before we throw into some battle. So let's go test spin. Test spin time, barricade Lucifer, let it rip. Look at the barrier. Oh, it looks actually super cool. Hey, I'm gonna touch the, I'm gonna touch the tongues. Ah, it's really, really cool. I really, oh goodness, I love this gimmick so much. And I really like how they made it pink because it contrasts so well with the black. Oh, look at that, like that deep red centered. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm loving this, but it's, of course, it's not gonna be exciting or move around. I mean, it's, it's a defense type baby. What are we expecting, people? So, uh, yeah, brother battles. First battle is going to be against Super King Hyperion. Um, I'm not expecting anything because it is a right spin. So let's, let's, let's hope that this actually does something. All right, Lane, put up that barrier and let's see how this goes. Right now, Hyperion is just wasting all of its spin. And they both do have rubber and oh goodness, all of Can they win? No. Wow! The moment they made contact, it lost all of its stamina. Let's run that back. Let it rip. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is not your yeah, this is this is one of another specific use. Oh man, it got blasted. I was hoping they'll do better than Variant Lucifer because I was hoping maybe with less barriers there'll be some opportunities to like make contact with this and then you know maybe just won't lose all the spin. But uh, that was a pipe dream. So let's try this against Helios, which is a uh, less spin. So this should do some, this should do pretty well. It's getting pounded, but it's it's going under the barrier. It was hitting under the barrier the whole time. Oh, poor Lucifer. Now Lucifer is hitting under. What are they doing? They're hitting each other's, like, drivers. Oh, that was a... We got to do that again. I hope I hope the camera got... <laughs> picked, that up, picked that up very well, because they were actually attacking... Each, they were actually attacking the disc and the drivers. They didn't... It, it took a while for them to even make contact with each other's freaking layers which that's the whole thing you want to do with lucifer's barrier until i hit the layer that was insane oh it's so cool you can see the barrier getting like pushed in oh and you can see the contact with the actual plastic part of the layer itself and yeah lucifer was able to take it which we pretty much expected so yeah once again it's another yeah, it's another, hey, I do good against this type, but not against that type, so... <sighs> That's a shame. You think we should do one more battle? Yeah, let's have a go against, you know, let's have a go against Shu and see what happens. I mean, we already know what's gonna happen. 
Mind you, this is uh, the right spin version of spring, and so let's see what happens. Which, like I said, we already know what's gonna happen, but you know, I wanna do some more battles, because those other battles are very, very, oh goodness, no. Oh, poor Lucifer, poor Lucifer, oh goodness, oh goodness. Oh. Yeah, it seems that Burst Springen got this. Speaking of Burst Springen, I think this should have been the final release. I think Valkyrie and Springen closing out the Burst series would have made a lot more sense than Lucifer. And Lucifer probably should have came out after the Fusion set because it came. It would have came out like after Hyperion and Helios. That would have made a lot more sense now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure why that didn't happen. Also, I forgot to mention, if you can look at your your actual chip here, there should be an H here and here. So if you actually use it with the Super King layers, you know, you'll have like a H motif on it for them as well. So that'd be, that's, that's a pretty cool, they paid attention to a lot of detail with that one. Let's see if it could take on Valkyrie. You know, the, the, the newer one, the, the, the BU version of Valkyrie. This would be the, the final test here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's getting pounded. Yeah, Valkyrie is pounded. Oh, Lucifer actually got the win. We, that means we got to do another round. Let's do another round, people. I didn't actually expect that. So, yeah, these battles are actually pretty crazy. Um, I'm, I, For the most part, they're predictable, but <laughs> the way that Lucifer moves is so weird. Sometimes they attack right under the barrier, which makes me think, oh, my goodness, this is the worst shield ever. But it's so cool. It has it has to be to do something with the with the stadium. I think in a different stadium that might not happen. I think the dip is so low in the stadium that it attacks right underneath it. Yeah. We might have to try this in a different type of stadium. Alright. Ooh, it got blasted away by Valkyrie. Did you guys see that? Valkyrie just smashed it. I think Valkyrie's gonna take this one as well. Yeah, that was expected. I, the first one was kind of a weird fluke, but overall, um, yes, yeah, the final release, people. So if you want me to let you know if you should get this or not, if you're a Beyblade collector, you're a Burst fan, I don't see why you should skip on this Beyblade, even though, you know, it's really only good against left spins, but it does have a, it has some really nice parts, so I don't see why not. You know, I'm not like the expert in in terms of, you know, competitive play or anything. I'm just a, like your average collector that loves the anime. And if Lane was a character you really, really liked, I don't see why you would skip out on getting this Beyblade. And if you like fun and cool gimmicks, again, the type of Beyblade for you, because this actually looks really, really cool and it's actually spinning. So yeah, that's it, people. Um, no more Burst unless I decide to get Quad Strike. So this is kind of, um, kind of a weird type of video where it feels like I'm not gonna be opening more Burst products anymore until the new Beyblade you know series or generation hopefully starts in March but um, we'll probably try to do some battles in between then but until next time people if you enjoyed the content like comment subscribe I'm trying to reach 500 by the end of the year even if you don't subscribe or you know whatever I just hope you guys actually enjoyed the video so peace out people